Good day, everyone. Today, our topic is all about the NCBTS, or the National Competency-Based Teacher Standards. What is NCBTS? National Competency-Based Teacher Standard. It is an integrated theoretical framework that defines the different dimension of effective teaching, where effective teaching means being able to help all type of students learn the different learning goals in the curriculum. Why do we need the NCBTS? Filipino teachers often got mixed signals about what it means to be an effective teacher, what may have been taught definition of good teaching and their pre-service education seem to be different from their principals and supervisors expect them and their schools or teachers are taught new teaching approaches that seem inconsistent with the performance appraisal system. The NCBTS provides a single framework that shall define effective teaching and all aspects of a teacher's professional life and all pieces of teacher development. The use of a single framework should minimize confusion about what effective teaching is. The single framework should also provide a better guide for all teachers' development programs and projects from the school level up to the national level. What does competency base mean? Means that the standards or criteria for characterizing good teaching are defined in terms of the teacher credentials, let scores, grades in graduate school, degrees, personality traits, and so on. With look at what the teacher can do competently. A technical working group was set up to study what types of classroom learning experiences were defined. These practices were then organized and presented in a series of national, zonal, and sectoral consolation for validation and finalization. Who should use the NCBTS? Anyone who is interested in improving teaching practices should refer to the NCBTS. Thus, teacher education institutions shall use the NCBTS to design and implement effective pre-service teacher education curricula. The PRC shall refer the NCBTS in designing the licensure exam for teachers, organization, and agencies to implement in service education for teachers or the NSET shall refer to the NCBTS and developing their interventions. Award giving bodies shall refer to the NCBTS and defining their criteria for outstanding teachers. The DEPED shall use this and in formulating its hiring, promotion, supervision, and other policies related to the teaching profession. It shall use the NCBTS to guide its NSET programs for teachers. How should teachers use the NCBTS? Teacher can use the NCBTS in many ways. First, as a guide to reflect on their current teaching practices. Second, as a framework for creating new teaching practices and as a guidepost for planning for professional development goals. And lastly, as a common language for discussing teaching practices with other teachers. The development of NCBTS is a very helpful tool to all teachers who desire to become effective facilitators of student learning. This time, uh, we will compare the traditional and the NCBTS view. So, in the traditional view, teaching is a technical process and the good qualities of this technical process are well defined. While in the NCBTS view, teaching is facilitating learning and the qualities of good teaching are defined in terms of whether students learn or not. In the traditional view, teacher knowledge is technical knowledge applicable to all learners and context. While in the NCBTS view, teacher knowledge is essentially complex and problematic. Applicability varies across learners and context. In traditional view, teaching involves a consistent application of technical knowledge. 
while in the NCBTS, teaching involves reflective and flexible application of technical knowledge in ways that the best bring about student learning. In the traditional view, effective application of teacher knowledge dependent on prerequisite inputs in teaching environment. While in the NCBTS view, effective teaching is determined within the limit and opportunities found in the learning environment. Filipino teachers also share a common vocabulary for discussing their teaching practice, for defining their ideals as teacher, for negotiating and creating strategies to improve their practice, and for addressing their various stakeholders regarding the improvement of the teaching profession. Most important, individual teachers in all the public elementary and high school all over the country shall use the NCBTS for their professional development activity. Good. The NCBTS framework is divided in seven domains. These are, first is the social regard for learning, the second is the learning environment, third is the diversity of learners, fourth is the curriculum, fifth is the planning, assessing, and reporting, and the sixth is the community linkages, and last, the personal growth and professional development. So, my other colleagues or my other uh, group mates were, will discuss the seven domains. The NCBTS can help each Filipino teachers become a better teacher and assess each teacher to continuously think about improving professionally to become even better and better as facilitators of student learning. With NCBTS, all Filipino teachers also share common vocabulary for discussing their teaching practice, for defining their ideals as teachers, for negotiating and creating strategies to improve their practice, and for addressing their various stakeholders regarding the improvement of the teaching profession. Teachers nowadays should learn many new ideas that the NCBTS is emphasizing. Teachers should learn practices found in the NCBTS that helps students learn better. That way, she will become competent. She will be an effective teacher. Using the NCBTS, the teacher can be aware of the, her strength as a teacher and ensure that she become more consistent in demonstrating her strengths. At the same time, she can plan on professional development strategies so that she can improve on her weaknesses. The best way to begin using the NCBTS is to use the competency-based framework as a guide for thinking critically about whether the teacher's current practices are helping students attain learning goals in the curriculum.